Alright guys, welcome back to another True Story animation reaction video. Today we are watching My Family Only Talks to Me for Money by Storytime Animated. I will leave all the links in the description down below, but guys, I would be so angry if my family only wanted to talk to me for money. And I'm sure you guys would be just as angry as well, but we're about to react to this because I'm pretty sure there's a good reason as to why they only talk to him for money. Maybe he's like really, really mean to his family or something like that. My family family will only talk to me okay if I this man looks rich I dreamed rich, man. that I was flying like an eagle high above the mountains I felt free and powerful it was the best feeling I had ever felt until I was woken up by my phone's message tone when I opened my eyes I realized just how much pain I was in huh everything hurt I was hurt in places where I didn't even know I uh -oh. had places my ribs were the worst when I finally reached down I saw that I had several missed text messages from my brother Paul and my half sister Suzanne. I could practically Wait, hear why is he in pain in my though? Head as I read, that I saw must my be older brother answered. Paul's first. Hey, you bag of butt cracks! Don't forget to put the huh? money in our accounts by 5 p.m. today. What? Dad almost blew a gasket when it went in at 5:15 p.m. last what? month. What? <laughs> Oh. Okay, I'm already angry guys. What this man's in pain, you know, they don't even care about his health or nothing like that Make sure you get the money in by 5 p.m. And then his dad gets mad at him because he's 15 minutes. Like, oh, we got to rewatch that What? Just from my brother Paul and my half-sister Suzanne. I could practically hear their voices in my head as I read I saw my older brother Paul's first. Hey, you bag of butt cracks You don't bag forget of to put crack. the money in our accounts by 5 p.m. today. Dad almost blew a gasket when it went in at 5.15 p.m. last How month. How much money is this guy making? Paul <laughs> was the favorite and firstborn son. My dad took him when he walked out on my mom, and when I was four and Paul was eight, Dad said it was because he was more self-reliant. What? Then I read my half-sister, Suzanne's. Daddy wanted to let you know that he will cancel the party if you're late again. I heard her condescending Why are they so I mean to, to be him? Fair, she spoke to everyone that way, except for her daddy. Then wow. one time I was late, when I was well, stuck underground on the subway thanks to an over-enthusiastic duck. Right, I thought to myself as I slowly got out of bed and made my way to the shower. As I passed by my face in the uh -oh. mirror, I noticed how beat up I was, but didn't give it a second look. The hot water felt amazing. When I was 11, my mother suddenly passed away. Oh man, With this no guy has family, been through a my lot. My dad and his new wife had to take me in. They gave me a small room in the basement. A list of my share of the chores. Beyond that, I had to fend for myself with my brother and my three half siblings. The oldest, Suzanne, Paul, middle son, who is about a year younger than me, and Lena, the baby of the brood, who just turned 17. The fact Suzanne was a year older than my older brother Rick was never lost on me. I got a job when I was 14 and saved up until I had saved enough to move out. Just as I was leaving their house for the last time, and he had to work for his own bill. money to, to you That's know. not a joke. My family wanted me to pay them back for everything. How what? much I owed for back rent, to how much time my father and stepmother helped me with my homework. What? He was a kid, how much guys. I owed my other he siblings sh for watching me when my parents were out what? and so on. Even my younger half-siblings <laughs> gave me a bill for the amount of attention they no longer got from our parents since I moved in. My stepmother made it very clear when I moved out. I'll never forget her message. Unless I pay back every dime I owe, they will all turn their backs on me for good. What? Okay then. Never pay them back. Who work, cares about them? They've been treating the you terribly since wow, the beginning. Wyatt, you look like... I wonder what the other guy looks like. Uh -oh. Those words came from my neighbor, co-worker, and my most recent cage-fighting opponent, Henry. I Cage couldn't help fighting. but chuckle as his face oh, looked so almost does he as make... bad as mine while he handed me coffee. Does he make Several money from cage fighting or something? Maybe that's why his body was like aching brother. and stuff. He kind of took me under his wing shortly after I started my job at the firm a few oh, years ago. Oh, never mind. He's, he's not no cage fighter. As much as my family wants, I started cage fighting in oh, an amateur league. He is a cage fighter. As we made our way to the subway, Henry explained that, dude, you gotta learn to protect the body. Take away the body. Take away the fight. Chance a win. My mind drifted to last night's fight and the feeling of his shin connecting with my ribs in a devastating Ow. kick. I may have screamed on impact because I went down. I'd Don't be worry, crying. Man. What? I won't tell anyone that you screamed like a little girl before you hit the mat. I promise. He was texting when he said it. 
and I'm sure he was telling everyone. Oh my god. On the subway ride, I told him about the situation with my Man, family. Look at their faces, guys. News, it's so they beat were up. Threatening to not invite me to my own birthday party. What? That they expected me to fund them with money that no doubt will so not be So he has to pay for his birthday party and then not get and invited. And I we're all really kind of close at first. But when I missed a payment earlier, they turned on me. They only I care about money. You, you just have to let them go at this mouth. point. He listened they're... patiently between subway stops in his <sighs> usual bluntness. They're not real family at this wisdom. point. The hell with them. They sound like jerks. Exactly. Spend the money on yourself for once, man. They were my only blood. I couldn't just walk away, even if I didn't even like them anymore. The hour-long trip to work felt twice as long. I get, I get where he's coming from, but if they're Henry treating him like me, garbage, sure didn't show it. We got to the office right on time, by which I mean we were right on time for our boss to catch us running late. Uh -oh. This could have gone a few different ways. What the he, hell he, happened he to you two? He could have gone first fired words out of the mouth of our boss, Mr. Gorsh, a balding man in his forties and wireframe glasses as he looked at Henry and me. Uh, what can I say? We were both really determined to get the last chocolate donut on the way to work. What? The only thing that I is the dumbest Followed immediately excuse by ever. Henry, who said, In our defense, people say those donuts are a real scream. And my ribs and pride now both hurt. Our boss shook his head and told us huh? the next time we were late, we'll get written up. Thankfully, I was busy enough who would believe to that, though? really quickly. Who would believe that excuse? A lot more of my colleagues asked me which one of the Scream movies was my favorite throughout the day, as opposed to the zero times I've been asked that before. I was filling reports, writing reports, and photocopying Oh, because they all heard all about <laughs> they all heard about him so bad, screaming from the fight. Lunch. The clock on my phone said 4:59 oh, p.m. He has to pay them. I watched the seconds tick down on the clock by five. My desk. He has to pay them Not by just five. Just waiting to clock out, mind you. I made sure all the money was transferred at exactly one second before it was 5 p.m. My only silent F.U. victory. Within seconds, I got a text from Lena with a photo of a chocolate cake and a Ooh. message that read, Hope to see you soon. Oh, he's finally going to have a birthday door, party where Henry with was people he doesn't even party. like. As I did, one of my coworkers slapped me on the back and said, Look out, war crier, as he passed me. I paused for a second, then kept moving. Hey, yeah, ignore Henry, the did haters. You tell anyone in the office about my war cry? You mean your scream? No, no one. Not at all. <laughs> Man, of course he did. As if on cue, Brenda, gorgeous, the girl of my dreams, who <laughs> works in our office, passed by us and said, Good night, Henry, and you too, Wyatt. Don't make the girls scream too much. <sighs> I turned to Henry. You were saying, Henry? Oh, you meant our office? He replied. Our office, yes, I shot back. Then everyone, yes, I told everyone. I think some people on the second and third floors know, actually. Gotta block that body, man. Next time, this won't happen, he said to me as we made our way down the The way they're walking, the it's so funny. Seriously, though, Wyatt, your striking is getting better. Your ground game is solid. All right, your so what, do, what does any of this have to do defense. with the, uh, the, the, the money defense, part, the though? I'm, the I'm, waiting, of victory, said I'm waiting to see what it Next has time, to do. I'll beat you, I said. His only response was a quick wink and a shake of his head. By the time we got to the station, we got on different trains. It took a few buses and another hour or so before I was finally at the family home on the edge of town. It was a nice house once. Ooh, that finally he gets to... Oh my gosh, guys, he gets to actually go just worn by into the birthday party. When I arrived, I only found Lena and Rick. A single piece of cake and no gifts. Huh? Lena was too busy FaceTiming with her boyfriend in Canada to give me more than a passing. Hello, happy birthday. Bye now. What? After she opened the door for me. I found Rick in the backyard. And he paid for the birthday party, sand. too. Hey, I called out to him as I walked into the yard. Hey there, birthday boy, he said back to me as he lifted his head. Welcome to your party. He had a sneer on his face That's that it? I just wanted to knock off. Some party? Where is everyone? I sent the money on time. Oh, no, I know, he said back. You just missed everyone. What? By which he meant stepmommy and my father left for a trip to the Bahamas for a week that morning. Paul was at his girlfriend's house, and Suzanne... They didn't well, even care about his birthday, guys. He mentioned her, because I don't care where the hell she is, to be honest with you. Yeah, at this point... I thought about leaving for a second. I thought about kicking my older brother's ass. Even with feeling like I had a building fall on me, I was pretty sure that I could. Instead, I sat down in the lawn chair near Rick and pulled a drink out of his cooler. After he this party, he should never pay his family bucks, again, man. 
I just stared at him for ten a bucks. long second. What? Ten bucks to buy the drink? Okay, oh. but only because it's your damn birthday. But you only get the one. I have what? to ration these until I go to the store. He tomorrow. paid for it. I opened my drink and looked up at the sky. We sat in silence for a minute. My mind wandered. Suddenly, Rick and I were in the ring, facing off with each oh? other. He <laughs> threw a punch, but missed my head. Then another also missed. He's like he daydreaming, third, fighting his brother. But I caught brother. him square on the chin with a punch of my own. He was staggered, and there were actual stars floating around his head. He put his hands up to defend his face, but I kicked him hard in the ribs. Man, with this the is payback hand, for all those times. His whole body shifted to one side oh. as I connected. My he just broke was broken it. by Henry's voice. Hello, Earth to Whining Wyatt. I said, how much longer are you going to be staying? I don't know, I said. Don't you have to get up early for work? He scoffed at me. He was right to. My work and wounds paid for this lifestyle. I took a long sip of my drink. You know, Rick, I never wanted us to be enemies. You're the only real family I have. I didn't have a choice in how things worked out. I just wish we could be a proper family. His reply came in the form of a loud belch. I put down my drink yeah. and headed for the bus stop, thinking yeah. of my multi-hour trip home. As I waited for the bus, Just I pulled leave out that my family. phone and That's not your family, to Henry. Man. What do you say we do a long weekend in Vegas next mm -hmm. month? Almost instantly, I got a reply from him saying one word. Finally. This yeah. so-called excuse enjoy, for a enjoy your isn't own worth time, the man. money anymore. Exactly. Yep. What they didn't Make know your own was money. the plan that I had made. Keep I picked up my phone way. and called my bank. Hello, I'd like to report fraud on my account. Yes. Several transactions. Of course, sir. As a platinum customer, we will return any money to your there account. There we go. Taken he finally, now, he finally stood up against his cage family, guys. Yes, I Let's said go. As I Let's thought of go. The new life I was going to live. In my opinion, this was definitely a happy ending because you know what? Who needs who needs that kind of family? It's, it's really not even a family at this at you know at this point anymore because his dad, his stepmom just left him. Just just left for a vacation when it was his birthday, and then his siblings were like half siblings didn't even care about his birthday. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this true story. If you guys want to see me react to more, you guys know what to do. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.